Within the question of techno signatures, there is a known bias. And Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick recently stated it as the orbit of Mars. A techno signature outside of that we can be talked about, like a von Neumann probe or something like that at Jupiter. But when you start talking about anything getting close to Earth, the biases come in, even though it's virtually identical. There's no difference between a von Neumann probe in orbit of Saturn or one in Earth's atmosphere. What's your view on the stigma and how can we sort of try to get past it? Well, actually, I find it pretty fascinating that there is such a stigma to search near the Earth. Because technically, why, would it, why wouldn't a probe that can make it into the solar system make it also inside the atmosphere? There's no difference. There's no difference. So this is just like a, some kind of a social barrier or so. And I think the only way how we can get past that is by doing these searches and show that, okay, we know there's a social barrier and we know that it's going to be difficult to publish the papers, but we'll still look. And, we, and even if we don't publish them right now, we will probably get them published in a few years when the stigma is off and people will be kind of uh, more, much more open-minded. Simply go on and do your best. That's all what one can do. The other thing is that, you know, you have to ask another question when analyzing this sort of thing is that, again, we've talked about von Neumann probes and we've talked about Benford probes and Bracewell probes and all this sort of stuff that could be in the solar system, you know, artifacts on the moon or whatever. Yeah. But we ignore the fact that we might be living on the most interesting planet in this star system. <laughs> this <would be. laughs> yeah, why wouldn't they send it right to the Earth? And I think this is the best place to send any probe to. So uh, if, if I would be aliens and I would know that there's uh, an advanced civilization here, I would send all the probes here and I wouldn't send it somewhere else. The universe is full of gas giants and Venuses and Marses and things like that, but not so much with civilizations as far as we can tell in SETI. And that it seems to me that bias, the, the Mars orbit bias is just really unhelpful because the Earth's atmosphere is where you would expect <laughs> to find a techno signature if if there is indeed an alien civilization here studying us. Exactly, and this is where you could imagine that you would see things like artifacts and remains on the planet, maybe in geological records even or so. So I think it's a completely valid way of starting SETI searches here and simply assume that if we can send something to a different stellar system also can another civilization send something to us and to the Earth. So I'm t totally in favor of this, this type of city. I also am attracted to the idea of searching the surface of the moon for any evidence of a past visitation, just because the moon, unlike the Earth, the moon does not recycle its surface constantly. And I, I think that that's kind of a wide open area for technosignature searches is to start looking at lunar maps and things like that, that might reveal something that was once there. I think that's a really, really beautiful like idea. And I think there are even some searches, uh, like AI driven searches for artifacts on the moon, uh, like led by ETH researchers in Switzerland. By the way, I apologize in case you hear weird sounds from my end. It's my cat coming here and licking my plates that had some ham on. So sorry for the weird sounds from my end. Oh, it's quite okay. We, we, we like the cat. We like, well, I like cats. And one of the reasons why I have a separate Event Horizon studio for my house is, is that my cats will try to talk into the microphone. And this one might try to. It's a non-human intelligence that is trying to find her way of maximizing her resources. So Yes, yeah, a von Neumann cat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, well, I, I completely agree with you on your entire assessment, both about the moon and about the Earth. And I hope there will be more set in that direction because we have been doing 60 years of radio searches over and over again, always pushing the limit. But if you do something over and over and over again and you don't get any results, it's maybe time to open new doors because new doors uh, will always lead to something unexpected, even if it's not what you were looking for.